we know uh, the master's theorems okay about the master's theorem there are the three cases we have already studied and we have also shown how to prove that now today we will study that uh, how uh, say if we uh, want to multiply two n digit numbers then how much time it will take and how we can improve the time complexity okay say suppose uh, this is uh, say capital a or uh, i should write past that uh, this is the problem of multiplications of two in bit numbers multiplication of two in bit numbers now these in may be very large in may be very large so let uh, one of them is capital say a and another one is the capital b so if uh, you have to multiply this say one zero one one zero zero one like this similarly b is also there it, it may be like this in this way it is like this now you if you want to multiply this you know that uh, uh, a into b you can compute using the methods that you already know that i will multiply this one with all these bits then zero with all these bits in this way but uh, that will take how much time b go of n square okay so these are the n bits total n bits are there n bits are there so b go of n square clear now we uh, suppose uh, these we can represent a uh, in this case we have taken the binary number uh, if uh, uh, say a is decimal suppose let a and b be the decimal then we can write a as say suppose a is uh, 1024 and b is say 2583 so if it is so we can write a as 1024 means 10 into 10 square plus 24 similarly b is 25 into 10 square plus 83 you check this is actually 2583 and this is 1024 so if any if a and b are decimal numbers then we can represent a as 10 into this 10 square so basically this 10 is the radix r value r is the decimal so 10 here also you check r is the decimal so hello sakshi hello i request all of you please do not enter using your personal email id it is very difficult for me to accept then while i am taking classes please use your institute email id okay can you hear me hello can you hear me or should i stop it yes sir please do not do that
so now this is also r in this case you check this is also r so r is 10 because this is the decimal decimal means radix is r is 10 so we can represent any number like this 24 plus uh, means in this way basically what we are doing we are dividing this into two parts this into two parts so actually it is four bits you see there are four digits so this is the two digit and this is the two digits okay i am partitioning these numbers and then i am applying this now if it is binary if it is binary so now consider a and b as binary numbers because we know in computers all the other in, in, uh, any number is represented using binaries so if uh, a and b are binary so this is a this is a this is the number and this is b or just uh, and this is b so these are the two numbers so if we this is the n bit numbers please remember these are the n bits this is also n bits it consists of n bits now what we are doing we are partitioning this number into two parts. Say this is n by two bits. This is n by two bits. Similarly, here this is n by two bits. N by two bits. So these are the parts. Now here actually. Uh, you can take that this uh, this is capital X and this is capital Y. I am taking this. This is uh, say capital U, capital V. So that means if uh, A is suppose one zero one one. For four bits n equal to four then i am taking this as capital x and this number as capital y clear similarly if b is say here n is four i am say, taking example small example if b is say one one zero one if it is so then we are taking this as u this part and this part as capital P. Okay, here also n is four bit. Now, in the like this, just like here, your previous example, A is this one zero two four. Then it is ten into ten square plus twenty four. B is twenty five into ten square plus eighty three. We have shown that we can write this. We can write this uh, two five eight three as actually two twenty five hundred plus eighty three. So twenty five hundred means twenty five into ten square plus 83 so here you tell me how can i how can we write a in terms of x and y this is binary binary means r is 2 so tell me how can i represent a in terms of x and y a is sir a is equal to x into 2 to the power y plus y no no a is x into something plus x into four. what what no, two to so the power y my y minus one sir no no i i have said this is n by two bits okay uh so you see just a minute you see yeah what what we wrote here it was a was 1024 clear so 1024 means what 1000 plus 24 
that is equal to 10 into 10 square so what is this 2 2 is actually you see this sir, 2 to the power n by 2 sir right these two bits clear so here this 2 is basically this two bits these two digits so here we can write uh, that is equal to x into 2 to the power n by 2 plus plus tell me y that's why no no yes. no nothing sir to the power 0 basically that's what i was saying okay sir. one yeah a is this clear and b b will be Tell me, B will be how much? U into 2 to the power n by 2 plus y. E u into 2 to the power n by 2 plus B. It's a B. This is B. This is not Y. I, uh, this is B. Okay. So we have seen this is the case. Now, Let us try to multiply this to A is this and B is this. So A into B. So why we are doing this? We are trying to that use just divide and conquer. Just like we are dividing the uh, partitioning the number into two parts and we are multiplying uh, like that. So this will be X into 2 to the power n by 2 plus y this so if i uh, do this multiply this so it will be you check it x into u into 2 to the power n plus x into v plus y into u into 2 to the power n by 2 plus y into v. Is it clear? Now, how many multiplications do you have? Number of multiplications. You tell, tell me. How many? Here? Sir, four. Anyone else? How many multiplications are there total? No, actually, five, sir. If you're counting x into u as one multiplication, x into u into two digit bar n as another. Yes, uh, so, there is, so so if you do like that, how many? So five. So, 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 so six, 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 six. So you will see that this is equal to six. But see, if we multiply anything by Two to the power say n or whatever it may be. So we instead of multiplying, what we can do? So that is equivalent to sir shifting the bit to the left. Right, shifting the bits to, to the, the left. left. In the bits to the left. By how much? How much bits you have to save? By sir, n, one, bit. n bit. N bit. Sir. N bits. In this case, n bits. So now, please remember that shifting is easier than multiplication. Easier means less costly.
So if it is so, that means, so therefore, you now we will shift here, this case, this, you know that if it is uh, 1101, uh, so if you shift the bits, then it will be multiplied or uh, you know that divided, etc. So that is easy. Now, my question is that if it is so, then uh, number of multiplications, now tell me how, ma how many? Number of multiplication in this expression is equal to, you see, four. Four multiplications. And that is four n by two bit numbers. Is it not? So how do you convert four multiplications? Please repeat that part, sir. This this thing you see, this is one. Yes, sir. Two, three, four. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Got it, sir. And and also check x u x v y u y b. All of these are n b n by two bit numbers. Clear? So and so these are all n by two bits. Check it. Here also n by two bits. An original problem was of n bits two n bit numbers okay these are the two n bit number here two n by two bits two n by two bits two n by two bits and here also two n by two so that means if let t n be the running time complexity to multiply two n bit numbers so we can represent then tn as what suppose uh, uh, means tn is if n is 1 then it is very easy it will take constant time. Let it be C if n is equal to 1. Okay, that I, I can multiply the cost directly. Otherwise, what I am doing, we are dividing it into some n by 2 bit numbers and then we are multiplying. And to do that, how many multiplications are required now? 4. So, what will be the equation you tell me? I am representing a single sir, n bit Okay, tell sir, me. 4 into t n by 2. Right. 4 into t n by 2. And what else we are doing? We are shifting something. You see? What other operations are there? Shifting. This is shifting. How many bits? n bits. Clear? And also we are adding. Check it. Addition. Yeah. So, how much time it will take to shift a number by n bits? If you would like to shift a, a number by 1 bit, how much time it will take by 1 bit? It takes constant time. So, if you would like to shift the numbers, all the bits by n bits, so it will take big O of n time. And also, addition, addition of 2 n bit uh, numbers will take n by 2 is a so b go up n so basically this part here you see it is n this part is for shifting and addition and this part is for multiplying four in by or not like that I should write uh, this is for 
four multiplications of n by two bits numbers. Okay, four multiplications are there. So four multiplications of n by two bit numbers. Okay, that means you understood how, how to write this. Now, uh, so here, uh, tell me what is the, you compare it with the uh, equation like this, Tn is At n by b plus Fn, a master theorem. So if we compare like that, so what will be the um, value of A, B and C? What is A? 4. B is 2. And Fn is? Actually, this is theta n. You can write. Linear. Now, tell me what A, A, A what is n to the power? You tell us what will be the solution. You know the master's theorem. What will be the solution? Tell me. <laughs> Hello. Prajato? So n is to the power n to the power log so what is this value n to the power log 2 4 n square so its value will be tn will be n square so, is it improved? Tell me, is it improved? Hello? No, is initially also you see it took this theta by n square? Now also it is taking theta of n square, so no improvement. No improvement. Now what can we do? What can we do? So actually I am x into u. So again we are writing. We would like to improve that. So a into b was x into u into 2 to the power n x into u into 2 to the power n plus x v plus y u x into v plus y into u into 2 to the power n by 2 plus y into v y into v, y into v. Now, here you see, if we can reduce the total number of multiplications, then the time complexity will be further reduced, means will be reduced. So what happens, you see, in this case, 
that x into v plus y into u this part i am telling we can write this as say x plus y into v plus sorry v plus u see x v y u is there but we have uh, yeah, i am getting extra x u it is absent in this case so i have to deduct x into u minus y into v so that means we can write the above expression as like this a into v that is equal to x u to the power n plus x plus y into v plus u minus x into u minus y into v that multiplied by 2 to the power n by 2 plus y into p now tell me if we do like that how many multiplications are there sir six one two three four six where uh, one This one you are saying one na? then uh, this is one two three four five two three seven four. again you don't take this that to the power n by two is uh, yes, I have to, uh, shifting operation okay shifting operation this portion the power n by 2 to leave this small space is here to the power n upon 2. this is shifting operation don't take it and this is x into u So how many multiplications are there? Tell me. If you have doubt, you may ask me here. How many multiplications are there? Sir, six only. One. Why you are saying six? I am not getting. This is one. Clear? Sir. Five, sir. One, two, three, four, five. See, this is the addition, and this is the addition. So, this if you add two n by two bit numbers, you will get two n n by two bit. This is also n by two bits. You check addition. Okay. And you are multiplying. So, this is one multiplication. then 3 then 4 then 5 is it 6 you tell me no sir no sir clear now anyone of you tell me 
can you improve this one actually instead of reducing uh, probably we have increased the number of multiplications but is it so see clearly see there exists uh, x into u how many times in this expression twice sir. twice so why you will recompute it again store it this value in a place and you will fetch it why you will again multiply so that means 1 and 3 are same result na? same multiplication na? similarly 4 and 5 check it sir, sir 4 will be y into b you have mistakenly written it x into b which one sir fourth number fourth x into b. oh that is y into b right right thank you yes y into b so this is also same four and five y into b okay so why you will do the same thing again and again you do it only once so effective number of therefore effective number of multiplication is tell me how much how many sir three three clear so we will compute it only once now tell me what will be the equation recursive equation will be Clear? If n is and some constant of theta of 1, we can write if n is equal to 1. Now, uh, what will be the solution for this? Tell me. So, here a will be equal to uh, 3. 3. Yeah. And b will be equal to 2. So in that case, uh, the uh, theta will be uh, uh, theta n to the power log two three. Log two three. Right. Which is less than n squared. So. so this is a value, Mr. Theorem. Okay. So actually, approximately not means this is equal to. 1.585 like this. So this is the improvement. See, if n is very large, then you will really see the improvement. So this is an example of divide and conquer of uh, um, strategy of uh, n-bit multiplication. This is known as Karatsuva's algorithm. So he told he did and this uh, and uh, how to reduce the time complexity of this. Next, that you will do. This is a homework. I am saying you will get in every books. So that is called Strassen matrix multiplication. So, you know that if there are two matrices, say capital A, capital B, its order is n by n, and suppose its order is also n by n. So, if you multiply this, you are you will get a matrix here, see. And there are elements, actually. Okay, these, these are the elements you know how to multiply to this
in this way. So uh, there, there are in by in um, uh, bits uh, here in, in like this, and you know that how to multiply this. These are the numbers, some integers, and you will get uh, and matrix of order n by n. You know that you multiply this one with these, and then this one second uh, element, uh, first row second element with the second row first element. In this way, you will multiply and add, and then you will get the values of. So how many? How much time it takes? How many loops do you need to find the multiplication? If you use the for loops, sir, three. Three. And what will be the order of time complexity? Big or n cube? N cube. So how it can be reduced? Okay. How it can be reduced? So in that case. Uh, like same type of strategy that you divide this n by n into some blocks of n by 2 n by 2 this matrix a similarly this one also n by 2 bits n by 2 size n by 2 size blocks okay. and then what you will do you have to multiply and you will see you will get some expressions that uh, what will be the, the this this block stands for which expression which expression you see from any books okay i am not showing it so in that case actually uh, initially they designed i mean uh, the simple case uh, just like the previous example uh, there will be eight multiplications eight n by two uh, sub matrix multiplications like that. So 8 into uh, Tn will be 8 into Tn by 2, like this. Just a minute. I am saying Tn will be 8 into Tn by 2 plus a linear. Okay. So in this case, what will happen? Ordinarily, this will be B go up into the power log 2, 8. So what is this? B go up Tell me, sir. N cube. No improvement. Okay, no improvement. So to improve this, that's just like the previous techniques. That some addition means multiplication reduced by uh, some addition subtraction and not to recompute it again, so that that number of computations uh, means addition multiplications are reduced from eight to seven. This one is reduced from eight to seven. And so that it will be time Tn will be B go of n to the power log 2, 7. Yeah. And now automatically log 2, 7 is less than n cube. So this that is called Strassen matrix multiplication. So you please, I am not showing you again, again, but you should read yourself. Okay, you will be able to understand same type of algorithm. So I am not repeating it again using the same technique. We will uh, see different problems of divide and conquer. So you please read the books from any books. Okay, if you follow the internet, uh, be aware of it because there may be some uh, mistakes uh, in, uh, that you have to take care of. Because in internet, internet is not the book. Book means there is a proofreading. There is a check uh, before uh, publishing, printing. It is check whether there are any correct uh, means corrections to be done or not. So, and uh, you may see any draft in internet, but there is that is not proof. That is not that may be that that may be wrong. I am saying, so please take care of it. Okay, stop. Yeah.